we have. No, 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 no. <laughs> Tootsie Pop? No. Oh. They were out of bit of. It's morning. <laughs> they were out of bit of honeys. I really shouldn't. Okay, don't. <laughs> <laughs> These guys will have some more then. There you go. It'll be more for them. <laughs> Start throwing them. That's right. <laughs> Um, so we've got a question because we have these uh, refurbished pasta makers. Yeah. Um, how do you find the right consistency and um, the right measurements? Yeah, exactly. So how well, do you do use it? a recipe first. Yeah. I mean, follow the recipe. We've had some people call in doing a little troubleshooting where they were just kind of adding in the flour on the fly. Yeah. And, and a little more water. Con and consistency more. <laughs> was not so hot. So we found it best if you follow a recipe mm -hmm. and then as you're measuring. With anything, when you measure flour, yeah. as you know, you're a baker. Mm -hmm. Miranda's a baker on the side. She loves. She does some delightful goodies for us. She does a lot mm. of wedding cakes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But once in a while, we get the treat. So I'm going to just take this. This is teared. This little bowl is on the scale. It's teared out. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show how every time I scoop this and do it, it's going to weigh different. I can almost guarantee you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so just kind of... Go like that. Let's see what it comes out. 48.1. Okay. El Dumpo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, and even if you're trying to keep everything the same and you're leveling off with a butter knife, if if you're not weighing it, it's not as precise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Some people would consider that flat. 53. All right. <laughs> yep. Oh, I know. I would imagine. <laughs> Let's do one more. Oh, jeez, I just got it on my... And with a lot of materials, like flour in particular, it can compress and you can get out a lot of air, so that's why they have sifters and things like that. Yeah. Okay. But measuring this... is going to... Here's another. By weighing it out. That's another way of doing it, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, that, the last one was 53? 43. 43. Look at that, 48, 53, 43. Yeah. 44. Yeah, absolutely. So, case closed. You really nice. got to weigh it. Well, exactly. <laughs> right, and we have scales. Yeah. On our website. Yeah. A variety of prices. You don't have to have the one, this I, I, Akaya, mm -hmm. which is a little on the pricey side for some people. You can get, it doesn't have to be an expensive scale, but that's the right. only way you're really going to get the accuracy. Exactly. Yeah, and then you have, you're adding the same whatever you need to of water, and you can keep it consistent. You can always get yep. your pasta to come out right. At least that's the idea. Exactly. <laughs> I know when we played around with it, the pasta came out a lot better when we did it right. <laughs> when Brandy, you measured. <laughs> Brandy and I. Yeah, so. when we measured, yeah. <laughs> Eyeballing didn't work, huh? No. <laughs> I saw some of those videos. We tried to mess around with it to make it a little different and put chocolate in and that. And, mm -mm, mm -mm. It was goopy. <laughs> it was, we, we had pudding. Yeah. <laughs> and then we had uh, moistened cardboard. <laughs> We had several varieties until we got to the recipe, then it came out right. Right, and that, that's when you were weighing it. Yep.